Yeah. Elon Musk talked about it on my podcast that we are cyborgs. You just carry it in your pocket. It's a phone. It answers any question you want. You can talk to it. It'll give you the answers, in, the answers instantaneously. It navigates you. It has all your phone numbers in it. It has all your contacts. You can get a hold of people. People are listening to you through it. It's connecting us in ways even involuntarily. Haptics, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's also getting on your wrist. How many people have iWatches, uh, Apple Watches? They're well, putting right, on their wrist. Right. And that's only because we can't integrate them yet. But yeah. it, you know that point is coming. 100%. Yeah. I didn't joke about it last night, but I have a bit about it that I do about the, the integration between humans and technology. That's What would you do if you were a hyper intelligence, right? Would you do the work yourself or would you create some cool things called like humans to do it for you? Would you create things that are cybernetic organisms to come in with machines and do it for you? If you were a hyper intelligence that has kind of changed like you've described, you'd probably create workers, right? Well, that's a vast conspiracy theory. I mean, not, I'm not talking about conspiracy. But it is a kind of a conspiracy, I'm right? I'm asking like, you. Well, I, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily that. I mean, you could look at it that way, but that is the way a conspiracy theorist would look at it. The way I would look at it is like there's obviously a progression going on, a biological progression. There's some sort of an integration with technology. There's some sort of imperative, this need for technological innovation. It's capable. Everyone has it. We, and I think it's attached to materialism in some sort of a strange way because so many people work so hard to get new things. And like, God, that seems so illogical and preposterous and it makes people unhappy and depression's on the rise, but nobody seems to be able to stop it. Like, why? is that well maybe it's because we are the electronic caterpillars that give birth to the butterfly maybe that's what we're doing no, maybe it could what, very well be. what our job is to do is to make some sort of a cocoon and we don't even know we're doing it while we're doing it do you think a caterpillar is well hey caterpillar what are you doing man I'm just i'm doing my thing it's my job i have to make a cocoon then i'm gonna become like a butterfly this could be a natural part of evolution it could be that we're right. just supposed right. to do this exactly and, and make the jump to uh, some sort of mechanized right yeah, Have non biological. You ever seen an orangutan that is uh, fishing with a spear? <laughs> no. They they figured out how you, to fish with spears. There's uh, there's um primatologists Wait, I guess wait, wait without them. somebody showing them how to fish? No, they've imitated human beings doing it. And now they do it, but they do it independently. They're not trained orangutans. They're wild orangutans. Look at that. There's a wild orangutan. Okay, that's impressive. Spear. That's, that's impressive. impressive. Well, there's these primatologists, I guess you would call them primatologists, that's the term? That's a great Biologists. Point. Biologists that believe that monkeys and chimps and some of the great apes are moving into the Stone Age, that they've currently entered the Stone Age like 500,000 years ago, but they're actively using tools and they're experimenting with different, different ways to use those tools. And then they're making tools out of stone. They're making tools out of sticks and they're, they're using them. Well, this might just be what happens. This might just be what right. happens. I mean, why right. else? Why, we, why the fuck would we work so hard? I mean, I, I, was, I was driving to L.A. this morning. Um, I had a doctor's appointment, so I was on the 405 at uh, 8 in the morning. Like, Jesus Christ, like, this is so crazy. When you're on the 405 in L.A. at 8 o'clock in the morning, you see literally a million cars. Yeah, red light. And it's mm -hmm. just everywhere you go, it's people. But, and also, I'm in a Tesla, so I have it on autopilot. So I'm there sitting, I'm listening to a podcast. I, I barely have my hand on the wheel. I'm not touching shit. This car's driving me along. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. It's so much less stress, by the way, to do it that way. So it encourages you to, to innovate. Yeah. It encourages you to embrace this new technology. I got this giant screen. It's showing me the navigation in front of me. Oh, I'll be there five minutes early. Excellent. And I'm listening to a podcast wirelessly. It's Bluetooth screen, streaming from my phone. And I pulled that podcast, which came out today out of the fucking sky. And I'm listening to it. And I'm all comfortable in my nice little car, just driving on my way to the doctor's office this it, is irresistible stuff yeah yeah, yeah. it's yes. different than your walk man yeah you know back in the it day is irresistible so it is irresistible it's frighteningly irresistible but is, is it, it frightening is. i mean if you were a monkey right if you were um an australia pithecus would you go man i don't want to fucking be a person I live in a house that's bullshit